It's the final stretch of the season as the Cavaliers hit the road to take on the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets with ACC Coastal Division implications on the line. I'm Ian Greenberg, and here are three key factors to look out for in this week's matchup. Factor one, run, run, run. Georgia Tech's offense is built on the triple option. All they do is run the ball, literally. In their last three games, all of which they have won, they have thrown the ball just seven times. Let me repeat that. Georgia Tech has only thrown seven passes and completed five of them in their last three games. Their rushing attack is what makes them lethal, with six different players having rushed for over 290 yards this season. The Yellow Jackets run game is led surprisingly by both of their quarterbacks, Taquan Marshall and Tobias Oliver, who respectively have rushed for more yards than they have thrown for. Marshall already has 781 rushing yards and 12 touchdowns, while Oliver has rushed for 751 yards and 11 touchdowns. If Virginia has any chance of winning this game, they will need to focus all their attention towards stopping the run game. This means that the linebacking core led by Charles Snowden and Zane Zandier will need to be everywhere to stop the Yellow Jackets' potent triple option offense. Factor 2. Get Price Perkins going. Virginia's offense thrives when Perkins has it working with both his arms and his legs. The more noticeable trend, however, is that when Perkins can get it going using his legs, then Virginia tends to win the game. In the Cavaliers' seven wins this season, Perkins has rushed for eight touchdowns. He has only not rushed for a touchdown in two of those games. In the Who's three losses, Perkins has not rushed for a single touchdown. When defenses have to fear Perkins throwing and rushing the ball, it makes the Cavaliers' offense more potent. Georgia Tech's defense is not easy to run on as they rank 40th in the nation, allowing just 138.3 yards per game. If the Cavaliers want any shot in this game though, they will need to figure out a way to get Perkins out of the pocket and causing havoc with his legs. Factor 3. Division Implications With just two games left in the season, it is hard to ignore the implications that this game has on the ACC Coastal Division standings. Currently, the Hoos sit in second place in the division, just one game back of Pitt. For the Hoos to have any chance to represent the Coastal Division in the ACC Championship game against Clemson, they must win out and hope for things to go their way. Georgia Tech, on the other hand, can't win the division, yet they sit just one game back of the Cavaliers for second place in the division and would love to leapfrog them with a win this week. Also, since both teams have already clinched a spot in a bowl game, this game can help decide the magnitude of the bowl game in which they will play in. My prediction, UVA 24, Georgia Tech 27. Make sure to tune in and watch at 3.30 tomorrow on the ACC Network.